Hey, this is Jacob Vile. Today I want to find out how my rise is, or as I should say, my impedance changes around my peak, uh, where I peak at. So I'm peaking around between 42 and 44, 44 hertz on my single 10 uh, box build. So I'm kind of going to use my device with my multimeter as well as my little Klein's tool clamp meter. Find out what my amps are and my voltage output and then divide the numbers to find out, hey, this is how my rise is for the frequency where I peak. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm um, going to go ahead and get this hooked up and we'll see how it works out. Uh, keep in mind that this is probably just kind of a test. It's not the best way to find out how I'm going to ride my rises, but I'll at least be able to know a uh, ballpark I can use from this for finding out, hey, this is how it's doing. So I'm just going to put some speaker right into my inputs. Actually, I'll break it into there. There we go. You can always just poke it into the speaker wire if you have little probes. It'll connect in. So let's see, it shows 0.7. So it's around 0.5, um, 0.6 ohm for my um, wired. So it's it's wired down to half ohm, but realistically with the subwoofer, without it being hot, just cool in the morning, it could be within a couple of uh, decimals. But I know it's under one ohm at least for sure, confirmed by the multimeter red at ohm load. All right, but what I'm going to be measuring is voltage for this. So I'm going to be measuring kind of what the, the output comes for the uh, positive and negative. And then with the clamp meter, I'm gonna be clamping. Make sure this turns on. Sorry, it's a mess over here, but just use the concept. Let's see what it is. And I'll clamp my positive input of my speaker and go turn the vehicle on and get my meter going. Um, put it on my frequency to find out how my rise is. So let me turn the vehicle on real quick. If you guys have any questions ever, just ask whether I'll know to answer or somebody else will. We're glad to help. It's a little loud. Um, so get my Bluetooth hooked up. Use my device. And I'm going to be doing the uh, 40, let's just do 42, 43, somewhere around there. With the test tones. 42 or 43. It's a little blurry and get my volume where I always do 20, just for curiosity's sake. Face knob up. All right, so that's all there. So that's all set. I'll have it set kind of how I always would. Vehicle don't have to be on for this test. Door shut. So I gotta go over here and have the same concept. Door shut, get inside of the vehicle. I'm just gonna literally climb in shut the door and we'll see how it does so you want to have the same idea of how your vehicle was to find out the rise because you beat where you sit as well as how how the um your doors and windows are are will affect output and rise and i call it box rise impedance rise it's really just impedance change i guess you could say ohm change depending on certain frequencies if that makes sense all right so let's just find out let's see if this will work See if this is going to load in. So that says point seven and point nine. If that's reading right, make sure it's on the right one. 200, yep. Let me redo that again. I could be doing this wrong, I don't know. So 0 0.7 and 0 0.9, uh, what is it? When you do 0 0.7 divided by 0.9, so no, it's 0 0.9 divided by 0 0.7. So it's like a little over 1.3 rise. So that means it's still under half ohm, my guess. So around 0 0.7, 0 0.8 at low volume. 
So let me go ahead and do a couple clicks up. Let me turn the, my system up just a little bit and then we'll see how it changes based on that. And we'll see. All right. Come on. Five point seven, three point six, five point seven, three point six. So one and a half rise there, one point six rise there. So that was with it sealed. I put the window up since it was a little louder. So I'm rising one point six there. Uh, this is not realistic real world, but to an extent it is. I mean, I don't know any other way to measure this without expensive devices. But yeah, just a clamp meter there. So right at 1.6 is my rise for that. Um, let's go ahead and go up a frequency. I'm just curious. Go to 43 and we'll see how it changes. So now I'm at 43 and we'll see if it how it adjusts. So right at 1.6. So yep, I'm going to say my rise, of course, if my volume goes up, the rise could change too. But I'm just going to go with right around one and a half. Uh, one, let's just say on a good case scenario, 1.7 rise. So I'm starting at 0.5 times 1.75. So wait, I did that wrong. So it would actually be around 1.3 ohm or so. So I start at 0.5. And I'm rising up to, what's it called? Uh, 1.7. So 1.75 of that. Yep, so that means I'm rising around one and three quarters rise on my ohm level. So I started at that. So it's actually going over one ohm. So like 1.3 ohm is my actual impedance, I guess, I'm rising to. I don't know. I'm not the best at this for explaining, explaining or even trial and error on this. You guys could probably help me if anybody's done this. Is there something I'm doing wrong measuring my voltage and my amps to clamp? I'm not clamping anything. I'm just trying to find out how my rise is near my peak. And that's what the point of this video was. I was kind of curious of, and instead of just doing it without um, doing a video, I figured, you know, I'm just going to do a video and show y'all this is what I do. So as I do it, I learn on video and you guys give me feedback. So that's how I would figure it out. Just clamping my voltage and clamping my, well, measuring my voltage output at the frequency I peak at, and then measuring my actual amps. So that's it. Let me go ahead and turn this down just in case. So I had about two thirds volume for that one. Not even two thirds, but that's what I do. So I know that my rise is actually not too bad for peak frequency sealed. So that was actually pretty good. Uh, why not? Let's do one more real quick. Let me roll the window down. I'm just out of fun curiosity. Go back to 20 volume. And I'll do one more at 44 hertz instead of 43. Okay. All right. So we'll do... Excuse me. I'll do a 44 hertz real quick. Just out of curiosity. So 0 0.9 and 0 0.6. So 0 0.9 divided by 0.6. So yep, one and a half rise. So yeah, I'd say around one and a half to one and three quarters is my rise around peak. Well, that was a little loud. Which is, to be honest, is not too bad. Because I know with my old 4th order build, I was rising like 3.5 to 4x rise. So that means I have a pretty, either really inefficient or really efficient box. I couldn't tell you. And of course, variables change depending on port adjustment. How the seats are, the doors, windows, where you sit. Everything changes. But just realistically, that's probably where I'm at. 1.5 to 1 and 3 quarters. Thanks for watching. Let me know if y'all have any questions. Or y'all know what I'm actually um, doing. 
there's something that you could say that I might have done wrong. And that's the video for figuring out box rise. And that's kind of how I figured out where my impedance is actually at. So, yep. I'll see y'all next time. Jacob Ball out.